Welcome to Sports Guy Talking. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about where I believe Sean Payton will land in his next head coaching spot. Right now, the Panthers, Colts, Broncos, Texans, and Cardinals currently have open coaching vacancies for the head coach position. Sean Payton is expected to garner a first round pick for the team that ends up hiring him due to the fact that the Saints still own the rights of Sean Payton since he is still under contract for them. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with the topic question. So here it is, where will Sean Payton coach next season? And my answer to that is that it's going to be either Denver or he's going to be right back on Fox. You know why I say that? Because I'm not really intrigued with the Houston Texans, the Arizona Cardinals, or the Indianapolis Colts in terms of where Sean Payton will land up. Maybe he'll land on the Carolina Panthers, but I'm not feeling too confident about that either. All right, so let's start off with the Houston Texans because they got the second overall pick. Obviously, the New Orleans Saints are not going to get that in a trade package for Sean Payton. I'm sure they would love to get that, but I don't really think that's going to be too realistic for them. Now, Sean Payton himself has said that the Saints are expecting to get a mid to late first round pick in exchange for Sean Payton. Now, for the Houston Texans, they have the 12th pick. That's not necessarily a mid to late first round pick, but it's close enough to be a mid first rounder. Maybe the Houston Texans can burn up one of those first rounders in exchange for the services of Sean Payton. Although I highly, highly doubt that the Houston Texans would be able to get Sean Payton, mainly because of the fact that the Houston Texans are a dysfunctional organization, because of the fact that Cal McNair doesn't know how to run an organization, because of the fact that Nick Casario, the general manager for the Houston Texans, is now on his third head coach in three years, and he himself is probably on the hot seat i mean i'm surprised he wasn't fired this year either considering the horrible job that he's done in houston so i'm looking at the statements of where the houston texas oh they might be in the running to get sean payton i don't expect them to have a chance of getting sean payton whatsoever i also want to note that the houston texans do have two other future first round picks that they could use in 2024 because one of the first rounds they got was from the deshaun watson trade either way though i don't really see the houston texans as a destination for sean payton i really don't see it happening whatsoever and then after that you got the Arizona Cardinals now the Cardinals they might be interested in Sean Payton and they do have a sore quarterback his name is Kyler Murray but Kyler Murray is coming off of a torn ACL and he already is a limited passer anyway and the Cardinals in my opinion they don't really have the draft capital to trade for a Sean Payton anyways you know why I say that because they got the third pick and they got a 2024 Cardinals first round pick now the third pick obviously the Arizona Cardinals are not going to give that to the New Orleans Saints though I'm sure the New Orleans Saints would love to get that in exchange for Sean Payton obviously that's not going to happen I mean if that does though the Cardinals they must be drunk because giving up a third overall pick for a head coach that's actually kind of crazy to give up you wouldn't even give that up for prime Bill Belichick okay I mean obviously a coach is important but it's not that important to the point where you sacrifice a high first round pick like that so the Arizona Cardinals I have to rule them out it's also because of the contract that Sean Payton is probably going to demand the Cardinals are known for notoriously being a cheap franchise outside of the time where they overpaid Kyler Murray to a contract extension I mean Sean Payton he's probably going to want 20 to 25 million a year something like that on the market I don't see the Bidwells giving Sean Payton that type of money and that type of power I just don't see it happening so I think the Arizona Cardinals they're not going to go ahead and trade for Sean Payton I don't see that happening now let's talk about the Indianapolis Colts they got the fourth overall pick and the 2024 Colts first round pick again I don't see that happening because Jim Ursay is a dysfunctional owner that wants way too much involvement in day-to-day -day football operations. I mean, he had Frank Reich out there, one of the better coaches in all of football, and he ran him out of town. He fired him for a guy named Jeff Saturday, a guy that had never coached football at any level outside of high school to be his head coach. I mean, that's crazy to even think about that a guy would be even willing to entertain that idea. I mean, that's an organization that does not show signs of wanting to win games, at least on a consistent basis. I mean, I just don't see the Indianapolis Colts even being remotely interested in the Sean Payton sweepstakes. In fact, out of the five spots that are open right now, the Colts are probably fifth and it's probably not even close to fourth. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the Carolina Panthers next. They currently own the ninth overall pick and they have a 2024 Panthers first rounder. The Panthers, they interviewed Sean Payton on Monday. Although I'm a Panthers fan, and I know what Sean Payton can do because I've seen it firsthand with the success they had on the New Orleans Saints. I don't think it's necessarily a good idea for the Carolina Panthers to get Sean Payton. Not because they can't coach, but because of the fact that the Saints are in the same division as the Carolina Panthers. And if they're in the same division as the Carolina Panthers, that means they're going to be asking for more than 
anybody else. They're probably going to ask the Carolina Panthers to give up two first round picks, two second round picks, and they're probably going to ask for like some cap relief or whatever, something like that. And it's going to be an outrageous price. I mean, if you're the Carolina Panthers, you would love to have Sean Payton, but you're not willing to give him up for your future, basically, because you only have first, one first round pick out there and you're not going to go ahead and burn down Sean Payton. I mean, you theoretically could, and then you'd be laughed at. I mean, that's just not a smart move whatsoever. So if you're the Carolina Panthers, again, I have to rule you out. I just don't see how they're going to land Sean Payton. I don't see the New Orleans Saints just giving up Sean Payton like that. And then, of course, that leaves the final coaching spot that is open, the Denver Broncos. They got the 30th pick. They acquired that in the Bradley Chubb trade. It's a late first rounder, like Sean Payton is saying, what the New Orleans Saints are looking for in exchange for Sean Payton. Maybe they give up the 30th pick, or maybe they give up a conditional 2024 Broncos first rounder, depending on whether or not the Broncos make the NFL playoffs or something like that. Basically, something involving conditional details of a first round pick. I think the Denver Broncos will be the team that ends up hiring Sean Payton because they have the richest owner in all of football. Okay, they have a general manager that's desperate to show that he cares about winning, considering the flop that he just hired in Nathaniel Hackett, and also the fact that he gave Russell Wilson a quarter billion of month of money in the contract. That's what I'm trying to say. That's obviously ridiculous. And to see their general manager is desperate to win. He made the trade for Russell Wilson. Right now, it's looking like it's working out disastrously. He hired Nathaniel Hackett. That's looking like it's working out disastrously as well because they had to fire him 15 games into his tenure. So because the Broncos are the most desperate team, they're going to end up making the most desperate offer for Sean Payton. And because Sean Payton wants to coach a team that he can immediately stay relevant in, he's going to pick the Denver Broncos because the Denver Broncos are a big market football-wise. They are relevant and they're the Broncos. They are one of the bigger brands in all of football. And they are a proud franchise that has had several down years. They're looking to get back into prominence. I see Sean Payton going to the Broncos. And I see the Broncos paying up Sean Payton a lot of money to coach that football team. They're probably going to fork over a lot of personnel control over to him. So that's what I see happening. I see Sean Payton ending up going to the Broncos. The Broncos can offer him the most power. Sean Payton can remain the most relevant in terms of brand wise in there. And also the fact that Sean Payton can fix short quarterbacks. I mean, he did turn Drew Brees into a, a top 10 quarterback of all time. So that's what he did. I mean, Sean Payton, you look at what he did for the city of New Orleans. It's beyond incredible. So you think maybe Sean Payton can turn around the Broncos. I think the Broncos would be the most desperate team to make an offer for Sean Payton. I also think the New Orleans Saints would also be more willing to deal with the Denver Broncos because they're not in the NFC. They're in the AFC. So the Saints, they might be more willing to deal with Sean Payton to the Broncos compared to a team like the Panthers. I mean, I've heard that the Cowboys in charge of spots, they were going to pursue Sean Payton potentially, but it seems like they're going to keep their coaches, so obviously Sean Payton's not going to go there. So that is why Sean Payton will end up coaching the Broncos next season. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That'll be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.